Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy's back out and did it again. Guys, man. Listen, today's topic is learning to code while having a kid. I'll be honest. I don't know if I would have been able to learn everything that I know now while I was having a kid or now that I have a kid because it's extremely challenging like I don't know how people do it you know more power to them like this is crazy like I haven't gotten no sleep at all like this week I feel like my brain is a mess <laughs> you know what I mean like it's hard so sorry. those guys that are actually learning to code and they have a family they have a kid they have a wife they have you know the whole shebang right like it's extremely difficult man I tip my hat to you guys because it's not easy at all It's like it's one of the hardest things for me you know like being able to focus on coding and then at the same time it's like I don't have as much time as I used to because I have to focus on a baby um, either I haven't slept so I'm constantly sleepy so I don't know man I don't know how people have done it. I think it's extremely difficult. I mean, you really have to have somebody that's supportive and, and pretty much understands what you're trying to do. Like, you know, if you have your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, right? She has to understand the, the things that you're trying to make and, and why you're trying to study, you know, learning how to cope because if not, if she doesn't take that that weight on top of her of like, hey, I'm gonna take care of the baby, man, it's almost impossible to do all of this shit at the same time. Especially if you work full time. So I can just imagine like some of you guys who who are you know or developers to be, right? Guys who are learning, you're still touching down. Udemy classes, touching down on, you know, free code camp or code academy or team treehouse, whatever you guys are using, right? So I can't imagine for you guys who have a family and trying to learn is like, when do you put in the time? When do you have time to actually get to code? And like, now I really understand when some people be like, man. I can only do this for one hour a day, or hey, I can only do this like two, three hours a week. Now I understand, you know, even myself. I mean, I have a lot of time that I put into YouTube, I, I put into my website, codingface.com, for the courses that I create. But I can't imagine like a regular person. Like, I feel like I'm not a regular person. I'm not the average person who, who works. At, at fucking Walmart and it's like you know what I'm gonna learn how to code I'm not the, the guy who's a bartender and he's like man I want to learn how to code I'm not that typical person right so I can't imagine them also having a kid you know you know a wife and everything and just being like yo I'm gonna try to learn <laughs> it's hard I think it's really really hard I think it's really hard uh, to basically try to do this and now I'm starting to notice it I'm like damn this shit must be hard for some people you know sometimes we we create a course or we create a tutorial and we'll be like hey guys this is easy and this and that but we don't know what everybody's going through you know in life you know somebody might be having issues with their family somebody, somebody might have just had a kid 
uh, somebody might just, you know, they're fucking late on their rent, and they're like, man, I gotta, I gotta work hard, I gotta work overtime, whatever it is, right? And then to come back home and learn how to code, it's like a really big sacrifice, you know? It's, I mean, at the end, it pays off. But while you're doing it, you're like, man, this is a lot of work. And sometimes you just can't stay focused. Even like last night, last night I, I tried to do a couple of new new courses that I'm working on, right? And I'm coding and I'm like, yo, my brain is just not there. So I just, I deleted all the videos and, and like, I'm gonna start all over today. Maybe I'll, I'll take a little a little nap and get some rest. But I can't imagine somebody who has to work, you know, like some people who work 60 hours a week, 80 hours a week, you know, they have two jobs. And then they say, you know what, I'm gonna go home and, and learn on, on Team Treehouse or Udemy or whatever. It gotta be really hard for those people. It's, it's not that easy. Because to basically learn how to code, you gotta have your, your mind pretty clear. You have to have your mind pretty clear. You have to uh, be able to get your sleep. You have to be able to eat properly and have enough energy. So when you come in, everything that you're trying to learn stays in your brain. You retain it. It's like back in the days. You remember when they used to sell you in, in like uh, junior high school or you know PS. They used to come in and tell you that hey, you know freaking eat your breakfast eat your lunch and there's a reason for it it's like you come in tired you come in hungry you come in whatever without no energy and there's no way you're gonna be able to retain all this stuff there's no way that you're gonna be able to do that because it's just it's complicated and then on top of that you just have to use so much power from your brain, like, there's a lot of shit, man, it's like today, right now I'm going to work, but I'm, I'm drained, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able, I'm, I'm technically I'm supposed to work on something that's very difficult, I'm creating a component that's very difficult today, there's a lot of, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning to get it right, but right now I'm just like, I'm drained, so, I don't know how people do it. I know some people be like, oh, I'm just going to go to Starbucks and get me a fucking Benti triple double quadruple double fucking <laughs> Coco Mocha, Choco Loca. I don't know, whatever they call them shit. I don't drink coffee, right? Benti triple, whatever. <laughs> Super shot fucking iced coffee or some shit like that, right? And... They come back and they get a little energy boost. But at the same time, man, I don't think that that's enough. You know, so that's why I say, yo, freaking learning how to code or, or coding or doing anything in general with coding while you're having a baby is difficult. It's very difficult because you can't get no sleep. You're always tired. You, you got no energy. So... All of this stuff becomes difficult. It already is a little bit difficult just to learn it, but then when you don't have that that brain power, you don't have that that freaking energy, that you know that power to continue doing it. It's hard, man. So I definitely feel for you guys, all of you guys that come in here and y'all work two jobs, the guys that come in and work 60 hours a week, the guys that. You know, yeah, I work on the weekends. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. Let me know on, on, on the comments, guys. I mean, are you guys going through similar situations where, like, you're always tired, always drained, and you're still trying to learn this, right? I want to know who's in here, like, going through, going through shit, you know? So, yeah, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Guys, in the description, there's a bunch of courses.
the courses that made me into a developer and there's also a link to my website when you go to my website automatically you get 50% off on everything just because you came to my website through the link now if you go to codingface.com directly you don't get that 50% right now you have to go through the link from YouTube and you'll be sweet man you get automatically 50% on everything and yeah man it just basically tells me hey I, I came from YouTube I love your videos basically give me some love and then you get that little love that little 50% off you know what I mean like for five dollars a month you get all my courses I think that's the best deal out there nobody's gonna have a deal like that trust me all right guys so I'll see you guys later man take care Bow.